So you want to unlock the best schematics here in Modern Warfare Zombie? Well, you're gonna need to fight the Red Worm at the end of the game, and I'm gonna show you how. Now, the most important thing about defeating this Red Worm, it's not about your loadout, it's not about your perks, it's not about the weapon rarity you have, it's about how many people are in your squad, and unfortunately, I'm gonna start off solo. However, I am gonna type in chat, I am gonna be doing the Red Worm, if anyone is interested in joining me. And then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at our fate, and hey, actually this is a really good spawn right here, because the first thing about the Red Worm is you are gonna be looking for these ammo caches. There's only four spots this can be, but when you see two ammo caches right next to the storm, that means that's where the worm boss fight is gonna take place. Now the other location I believe is right here in the like promenade shop area, but then there are two tier two locations, one in this like football field right here, and the other one is in the foothills, I believe, somewhere over here. The problem with those is that they are in tier two and they can be a far bit more difficult than the one in tier one. But honestly, it's not that bad. So don't like make a big deal about it if you don't have to, especially if you have people on your side. Now, I know I said your loadout doesn't matter, but I do, like most times, have a legendary Aether tool and a flawless, a flawless tier three pack punch crystal because time is well, actually now time is on our side. And of course we'll get all of our perks here too. Now I really did think golden armor was like the way to defeat this boss really consistently. Um, so I have it here, but ultimately it's not too bad, especially if you have a team. But now for the first real step, there are four locations of these pictures right here of four other locations in the map. And if you don't know by now, these four pictures correspond to specific locations within the map. Those locations have a UAV tower where we are going to need to get four USB sticks. There's a good example of the tower right there. Those USBs are gonna be useful for these machines, I forget what you call them, but that is gonna be what summons the red worm. So I'm gonna link two things that I use to really get this down quickly. One of them is a Reddit post with all of the locations and the other is like the Warzone tactical map that has like everything on it. This picture seems to be the apartments in tier two. This is one of our favorite areas areas of tier three. This is actually really close by here in tier one, and this is also close by in tier one. So it looks like we got some good spawns here. Now, the good news about this is that if you aren't set up as well as I am with all of these pack-a-punch and all of these perks, you have the entire game to get set up. Now, the downside is I haven't seen anybody reply to me saying they want to join. So that means we're probably going to be doing this by ourselves, which I've never done before. But that also means when we pick up these US USBs, they are going to take up four slots in our inventory, which is going to severely decrease how many items we can carry. So here's what the UAV towers look like. We're going to go up to this. It's just like a DMZ UAV tower. We're going to go up to it, click clack on the keyboard a little bit here, and it's going to pop out a little USB data. Now, the next key is going to be about 800 meters away. And just like that, we're already at this next location. Hit this tower, get the USB. And you know what? I am going to do this contract here to get some points so that way we can fast travel around the map. And this would be the perfect time to talk about the loadout that I have here. We are clearly using the Akimbo Swarms because they are still really good here, but also they're really maneuverable, they have a good speed, and they're good at distance with good hip fire. So this should be pretty good against the boss, hopefully. And they should be pretty good against this tier one mimic. Oh man, that's absurd. Ooh, self-revive, perfect. We are gonna want that. And I'm gonna take Napalm Burst, because why not? See you guys on the other side. Oh, you know what? It's been a while, but here it is. Here's the convoy. And here's the next tower. Woohoo. And that just leaves the tier three USB. And as you can see we only have one usb left and i've got 30 more minutes of this game so don't feel like you need to bum rush all of the usb uav towers like i am right now you've got plenty of time get your contracts get your weapon level up get your perks and all that stuff but we are going to be heading on the roof and i believe it's just around this corner yes it is the last usb that we need woohoo let's go so now we're gonna do some contracts here get some points so we can get fully geared up as well as we are going to be going for some sentry guns sentry guns and self revives i guess i should say now i believe self revives and sentry guns can be bought from a tier two buy station so that's what we're gonna do all right looks like ooh, sentry guns are only two thousand points that's awesome 
And you know what? It is about 15 minutes left. I'm gonna send another message. I've got all the USBs. Just to remind people, hey, I'm still in this. We're still doing this. Because I tell you, I've done it with like six people, seven people, I think eight people one time. It really does make a difference. It makes it so much easier for everybody involved. And I don't really think that's a bad thing either. I think it's cool that, you know, playing cooperatively can help you out. I'm just kind of terrified of doing it solo. <laughs> All right, let us empty our thing here. I don't need you. I am going to buy an, uh, two self revives, actually. If no one's going to help me, I'm going to get as many self revives as I can. Three extra is pretty good. All right, so we are at the buy station. I am going to spawn in this dog right here, so that way I have another slot. And I've made the decision. I think I want an extra self revive instead of a sentry. Oh, I can have both. Ooh, but what do I get rid of? Do I get rid of this Casimir? I think I get rid of the Casimir. I haven't really used him all that much, so I think I'm going to get a sentry gun. Okay, we've got our dog, which is a great dog. You always got to pet the dog. Waffles. Hey, we got Mr. Waffle Waffles with us. That's so great. And now there's nothing left to do other than head on over to the boss fight. Just going to tell the whole lobby, even though nobody's over there yet. No one's going to fight this with me. I'm going to have to fight this solo. I did not anticipate that, which I guess is probably the best tip I I could give you if you see somebody doing the red worm like do it with them because the more people it really does make it super easy like i've done this with triple pack a punched blue guns before just kind of being the bait for everyone else so long as you shoot it you don't need to be in the same squad you don't need to be in the same team as everyone else you just got to participate now we're at the boss fight area we only got 30 seconds until the storm starts expanding but we've got a lot more time until the worm actually gets here and the storm actually gets here so i guess i should have told you beforehand uh you want a durable gas mask that's something that i've got in a previous game I think it goes without saying you want, you know, three armor plates, large backpack, you know, the usual Modern Warfare Zombies attire. So these are the four little reactors that we need to activate. But the problem is the twist is they only activate in the ether storm. So the ether storm is going to come over. We're going to put all the USBs in by ourselves. It'll spawn the worm and then we are going to fight it. Please, people come over here. <gasps> They're going to the X fill. How disappointing. It is useful to maybe ping an ammo cache. So when the storm gets here and it gets all chaotic, you know exactly where an ammo refill is for your mask and your ammo as well. Now I'm bringing in Casimir's because I'm terrified of the zombies that are going to spawn with us. But a lot of people really love that gas grenade. They say it does good damage over time to the worm. And that's definitely something to consider. I would recommend the ether blade if you have it as well. All right, beautiful people. It's showtime. Here we go. Here's the first reactor slowly encompassing the storm. Look at that. All right, alpha activate let's do it let's do it number one gotta be quick here delta let's do it bravo here we go now we only have 12 minutes you can see this took quite some time for the storm to get over here which is not ideal all right we've initialized it let's go ahead and put down our sentry guns try to face them kind of in between the two uh ammo caches here i'm just gonna put them right over here plus these will also help with the regular bosses as well oh boy and here here we go, everybody. Here we go. I hope you're ready because I sure am not. We're going to try to get some good damage on him. Going to try to keep running, keep moving. He's got a lot of really cool attacks. He, oh, okay. He spawns in some zombies. He spawns in some enemies right there. We're going to get there. We're doing some good damage, man. We're going, we're already doing some good damage. We got the orbs like we know and love from the other bo boss fight here. All right. You just got to be careful when he's looking directly at you. Oh boy. Got some manglers going. That's okay. Let's get some ammo refills here. Now the biggest attack you want to look out for is that laser attack right there. It seems like he's aggravated on my dog right here, which is really, really good. That laser attack is a one hit instant kill. So you want to, when he does his head back like that, you want to be careful of that attack as well. Just always try to get some damage on him when you can. Big circles, guys. Big circles. Try to just ignore the zombies. Cool. He's down. Use this time. Take care of the zombies right here. Get the manglers out of here. Get those orbs out of the air. Hurt him. Oh, there he is. Okay. This is a good example here. Oh, he missed us. He missed us. Awesome. Oh, that's going to take some time to fall down from. Oh, boy. That's fun, isn't it? Oh, no. My parachute didn't deploy. That's a down you don't want to take. Oh, that's all right. He's distracted by our dog again that's really good we're getting some good damage on him getting up close getting these things going we've got 400 bullets right here we're gonna run away we need to go find those armor 
Oh, ammo caches again, so we're gonna just kind of move our way over here. Yep, pardon me. We got the orbs coming in, very good. Oh, that laser attack, you wanna dodge out of the way here. Oh, he's got his head moving. Oh boy, nice dodge donuts, even though it was kind of luck. Got this guy, okay, his head's back. Move it, move it, move it, nicely done. Get those weak spots, get those weak spots, get those weak spots, move out of the way of that disciple. Oh, there's a lot of zombies, there's a lot of zombies here. Oh, good dodge again, there you go. Let's get back to these ammo caches here. Ooh, good dodge again. You can kind of hear he kind of roars when he does those attacks here. All right, I think I am going to use a Casimir here. All right, there he is back again. Got more orbs out against us. This is pretty overwhelming solo. Whoa, dodge it, dodge it. Get some good damage. Get some good damage on him. Very good, very good. Get some more ammo. Nice. Very good. Get that armor on him. Get that armor. All right, it seems as though the biggest problem for solo right now, not necessarily staying alive. There is a lot of stuff to dodge off obviously, but uh, it's getting the damage on him. That's why the more the merrier, because he really, there we go. Very good. Getting that damage on him is very, very important here. Getting those double yellow hit markers. Very good. Now, the cool thing that I noticed just now, oh, he's coming. Yeah. It seems as though he's only got uh, two orbs, even though like because we're solo, it looks like there's only two orbs, which is really nice. Oh, OK, so he's swallowed us. This is OK. We're going to spam our button here. Very good job, Donuts. Very, very good job. That's how you survive that. Very good. And then we're going to slide because he's going to attack us there. I'm going to throw one of these guys because I need to get some good damage on him right now. I need to get those guys distracted. Yes, yes, yes. We've got you going. Very good. Oh, he's coming for us. That's all right. Survivability, it's hectic, but it's not terrible. Not terrible at all. Insta kill. I love it. Let's take it. Very good. I hope hope that does extra damage against him. I really hope it does. Oh, that laser. Oh, you see how devastating that laser is? That's crazy. Oh, dang it. We got down. He ate us. Oh, boy. That's terrible. It's all right. A little disoriented here. Let's head on back. Darn right. We are running out of time. Let's get our mask back. The fight of the century. Let's go. And I think this is why everyone says, you know, oh, we could use our... Oh, man. No, we can't. Okay. All right. Here we go. I wonder, oh, shooting him, shooting him works, shooting him works. All right, let's get some more damage on him, some more damage, spamming our jump button, spamming our jump button. Beautiful, Donuts, beautiful, you're such a pro. Get out of here. Oh, laser. There's just so many attacks. There's just so much stuff to deal with here. Oh, man, come on, Donuts, come on, Donuts. There we go. I think our dog died a while ago. I think our dog died a while ago. We're getting good damage on him, dang it. We're getting some good damage on him. All right, let's see. If he's on the ground, try to shoot him. Maybe that works. Oh, it does work. It does work. Awesome. Let's have him eat us for some extra damage. That's all right. We got some moments to just fire in on him. That's cool, too. Nice. Let's go, Donuts. Let's go. Head on back to the ammo cache. Oh, he's going to try to do that. That's good. It's all right. You got plenty of time donuts you got plenty of time let's go let's get this nice that's some good damage right there donuts let's try to throw one of these on him very good running in circles looking for that we're getting those orbs as best we can he's back down that's all right let's go uh try to shoot at him actually nice there we go shoot him shoot him shoot him get that get that going spam that jump button spam that jump button Beautiful. Let's go towards our ammo. Refresh everything. Nice. All right. Get him while he's while he's over here. Get him while he's over here. We are so close. I cannot believe we're doing this. This is my first time solo. Let's go. Oh, he's. Oh, yeah. Whenever your screen darkens like that, by the way, that means he's going to attack you. Oh, laser, laser. Oh, nice dodge. Nice dodge. Okay. Orbs, get out of here, orbs. Yeah, I would say if you're going in solo, Golden armor plates are definitely the way to go here because if I didn't, I'd be so screwed. All right, there we go. Weekly challenge done. Let's go. All right, 50 seconds. We got a cool countdown now. Let's go. Let's go. Ooh, just you and me, Gray Lorm. Gray Lorm. <laughs> You and me, let's go. Let's finish this. Yep, 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 yep. Mimic, stop it. No, we're so close. Get some crits in there. Get some crits in there. Come on. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, we're so close. We're so close. Let's go. Come on. Revive 10 seconds. Let's go. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Come on. Kill him. Kill him. Oh, he's like one shot. He's like one shot. Come on. You can't end it here. You can't end it here. Yes, let's go. Let's go. Oh, he missed. No, he missed. That's going to take so long. Parachute, parachute, parachute. Oh, I didn't parachute. Come on. One last self revive. One last self revive. We got. No. Are you kidding me? I'm standing up. I can't. We were so close. I can count the pixels. 
I was five pixels away. I'm speechless right now. If I just did one more thing a little bit better, at least I got a calling card out of it. I'm just glad it's very possible to do that solo. I definitely feel like I got distracted in the middle of that and just wasn't shooting him enough, but it is very possible to do that. Well, on the bright side, they nerfed the Act 4 worm boss fight, so that's really easy solo. If you want to see me actually win, be sure to check out that video and stay beautiful.